So today I will be teaching you guys how to get Legend ZA or any Nintendo Switch game running on your PC. This tutorial will specifically be for the Mac and we'll be using Ryu Jinx as our emulator. So let's get into it. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to actually want to download the emulator that we're going to be using, which is Ryu Jinx. So you're going to put in ryujinx.app on your browser and it will take you to this website and then you'll just press the download button in the middle. And then I'm going to save that to my pre-made folder that I made for this. So save that and then wait for that to download. So now that you've downloaded your emulator, what you're going to want to do next is download the keys and the firmware that will be used to basically simulate the same environment that's on the Nintendo Switch, but on your PC. So what you're going to want to do for that is you're going to go onto switchprodkeys.net. And once you're on this page, just scroll down until you find download firmwares. So once you're on this page, scroll down until you find all of them. Make sure you download the latest one because that's going to be the most up to date and that will basically help prevent crashes and all that stuff because it's the most recent version. So press download on that. I've already downloaded it. It's in my folder already. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything working. So then you're gonna wanna go over to the file which you saved everything in. So the first thing you wanna do is unzip the Ryan Jinx folder. And then Ryujinx is gonna be right there, so you're gonna double press that. Now, if you're on Mac, when you try open Ryujinx for the first time, it's gonna come up with a warning and it's not gonna let you open it. So to fix this, go into your settings, privacy and security, scroll down to where it says security, then it'll come up with Ryujinx was blocked to protect your Mac. So you're gonna press open anyways, and it will open up Ryujinx like normal. So now you've got Ryujinx already ready to go. So what you're gonna to wanna to do next is unzip your prod keys <laughs> so once those have been unzipped then you're going to want to go back into Ryu Jinx, hover over actions install keys so we're going to go install dot keys you're going to want to find your prod dot keys folder and you're going to press open then you're going to press on the prod dot keys open yes there you go your keys have been installed so now we're going to install the firmware hover over actions again install firmware and then from .xci or .zip file then we're going to find the zip file that we initially downloaded and you're going to press open it might come up with this screen where it says a new firmware will be installed this is probably happening to me because i've already had Ryujinx prior to this and i'm reinstalling it but if this screen does come up just press yes and go ahead anyways so then it'll tell you that it's been successfully installed press ok Okay, for this next part, guys, I'm not actually going to show you where to get the NSP files from because that's kind of illegal and I don't want this video getting taken down. You can just ask around, look at Reddit. They'll have tons of links there for things that you can go find NSP files. But I will teach you how to actually install it onto Ryujinx so you can play. So in order to install your NSP file, you're just going to go under files, load application, and then you're going to find the NSP file that you downloaded. So in our case, most likely Legend ZA, you're going to press open and it'll start doing its thing. Come on. Let's go, it loaded, okay. So there you go, guys. You can play Legend ZA on your PC now. So just a few more housekeeping things, making sure that your game is running smoothly, trying to prevent crashes. Go to options, settings, under graphics, enable shader cache, enable texture recompression, and enable macro HLE. Now your graphics backend should be on Vulkan by default. Um, make sure your backend multi-threading is also on. Your resolution scale is at native, anti-lazing is none. Your scaling filter is FSR, make sure it's on FSR. And that should help your game run a little better. And if you want to connect a controller so you can play easier or whatever, if that's just what you prefer, I've got a PS5 controller right here. You can actually connect a controller to Ryu Jinx. What you're going to want to do is um, plug it in via USB-C or whatever, however you connect your controller. Let that connect to your PC as it should. And then you're going to go into options again, settings, and you're going to go into input. Now, when you're here, you're going to want to change your input device from whether it's your keyboard or whatever down to your controller. So I'm using my PlayStation controller, so I'll set that to DualSense. Then you're going to want to map all your buttons. So B, A, Y, X to whatever the buttons are on your controller. And then you're going to want to press OK. And there you guys are. We're in Legend ZA. Everything's running nice and smoothly, as you can see.
Anyways, I'm sorry I couldn't provide you guys with the NSP files because that would be very illegal and I don't want this video getting taken down, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. People on Reddit are giving out links to NSP databases. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have too much of a hard time finding an NSP file, but as you can see, we've got in Pokemon Legend ZA, up and running, fun, nice, being attacked by a Bonnelby, not very nice, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more Pokemon videos. Oh, 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 oh.